Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. 6x to the power of 2 equal to 3x to the power of 3. Um, we can rearrange this so we can have 3x to the power of 2 equal to 6x Okay, this is 3 to the power of 3 equal to 6x to the power of 2. Then we will bring this to the left as we have 3x to the power of 3 minus 6x to the power of 2 equal to 0. And by the way, from here we can equally divide everything by 3 so that we reduce the equation this will go there x to the power of 3 now minus 2x to the power of 2 will be equal to 0 right now from here we can apply um factorization because x to the power of 2 is common then here we're going to have 1x minus here we're going to have 2 and then this is equal to 0. From here, it means that x squared is either equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. And then from here, x is equal to 0 because even if you get the square root of 0, it will still give you 0 or on this side, x will be equal to 0 plus 2. x here remains 0 or x is equal to 2. Therefore, the two values of x will be x equal to 0 or 2. And then, this is the original equation 6x to the power of 2 equal to 3x to the power of 2. And from here, x is 0, right? If you fix in x to be 0, definitely you'll be having 0 on both sides, meaning that 0 is satisfying. And then if you put in x to be 2, you'll be having 6 into bracket x. x is now 2, then we square this, equal to 3 into bracket x, and our x is now 2. And then, sorry, this is power of 3. And then we will raise this to the power of 3. Then from here we have 6 multiplied by 4 and it's equal to 3 multiplied by 8 because 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 6 times 4 is 24 and it's equal to 3 times 8 which is still 24. So this is to confirm that x is equal to 2 is also satisfying.